Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome. If this is your first time here, you picked an excellent video because we are on part three of our Sanctuary Hills build. This is a cozy and realistic series. Replay is the general of the Minutemen and we are working to make the Commonwealth safer one settlement at a time. So let's get into it. There's actually a few things uh, from the last video we did that I want to catch up on uh, because somebody in the comments told me that Codsworth, who of course is our owner here of Codsworth's Closet and Cafe, which is possibly my favorite thing I've ever made, um, could wear a bowler hat. Codsworth. I don't know if that's true, but like let's see. Items. I just picked up a bowler hat. Equip. It worked. It worked. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. He's wearing a little bowler hat for his job at the closet and cafe. That's so lovely. That is a delight. What an excellent start to this part three. He's so cute in his little hat. Wow, I sort of... I was scared that wasn't going to work and I would have to start this video over and I just... No, not now. Incredible. Great job, Codsworth. And then the other idea... Um, Somebody suggested doing a runway out here, uh, and I thought that was really, really cute. So I'm going to do a little tiny version of that and just set up like a tiny shack floor. I need display. I think we can fit two of these on here. Yes and some lighting the um you know the floor track lights i feel like i never get to use those so i thought this idea was so cute and just couldn't resist because also how often do i have like electricity working we might have to move this guy back just a smidge oh that's so lovely and let's see what apparel I have. Green shirt is always cute. I love suspenders. Ooh, I always love the sweater vest. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe some eyeglasses. Yes. Wow, we are off to such a strong start in this video. I've already said lovely twice. No, I like, um, oh, do I not have a dress? I don't think I have a dress on me and I want a dress. So we're going to go back to my junk trunk, uh, which I don't think you guys have seen me open yet, but all the junk that I use to decorate stuff, I just kind of store. Ooh. I did not mean to take whatever I just took. Uh, I just kind of store it here in the meantime. And I should have at least one dress. Oh, I have the fancy red dress. That might be too fancy for outdoors. Is that the only dress I have though? Oh, I can put a formal hat on the other one. Let's do the red dress. Just one. I don't need nine. <laughs> Not the formal hat, but the red dress. I'm so torn because on one hand, it's a delight. And on the other hand, it's like a little much. Mm, but I think I like it. I think that's our like best option here. And I think if we give him the formal hat, this dapper gentleman, it'll balance them out better. Yeah, that's, that's really cute. Okay, that is absolutely lovely. Uh, so let's keep going because that's where we left off last time. Uh, here on the right, we have the uh, Minuteman factory. Uh, and here on the left, I don't believe we've touched this house yet. So I'm thinking that this is going to be our ammo store or weaponry store. Yeah, so let's go ahead. 
and get scrapping things because like always sanctuary gives us a really hard time with the build limit and y'all know i'm trying to respect the build limit um i think my play style and building style in fallout is a lot more realistic and muted and i kind of like that because well, one, it means that we can do more things. Uh, otherwise, every single settlement would be a million parts and we would never get anywhere. Uh, and I do want to do all the settlements in this game. Uh, and the other part of that is I sort of like, I mean, not settlements that are overly crowded. I think that's just a different style. Settlements that have so much going on, like have glitched past the build limit. And I love watching those but I don't love making them as much. They're a little overwhelming for me. And that's fine. Oh, is there an invisible tree? Oh no. What? This tree is haunted. That's fine. That's good. That's spooky. I love a little spookiness. I say that, but I do kind of get frustrated by the Halloween decorations that are still around, which is, of course, because when the bombs fell, that's when people had these up. And that's just what's happening. We can never get rid of that, um, which really adds a forced uh, vibe. Let's store the dog bowl because I feel like that could be useful to us later. Ooh. We'll replace these chairs because I don't love those chairs. That is the spookiest little cat. I love it. I love like real world vintage Halloween decorations too. Okay, stove and fridge. I think we're safe to go ahead and scrap these, but we can't scrap this counter, which I kind of actually don't mind. Hi, Mama. You are not going in here because if this is the... Okay, let's see. This is going to be the like weapon shop. And out here is where that would go. So let's go ahead and just put that down so I can start seeing what goes where. Yeah, because maybe this part is like a display room. Because all out here, oh, we don't need a coat rack. I will keep a welcome mat though, but I'm going to put it outside. There we go. I think all out here could be like the display shopping area. What does this say? Trick or treat. Again, we can't get rid of that. Ooh, we'll put the radio up here though. The ambiance. And then, okay, what rooms do we have? Bathroom. That's nice. Let's replace the sink with a working sink and the toilet with a nicer toilet. Is that, um, can I grab those scissors? Doesn't look like it. Let's go, where are those nice bathroom furniture? I think they're here in miscellaneous. Um, I've been going back and forth about whether or not I want to use the nicer toilets in here because it feels a little less like realistic. Um, and then somebody pointed out that Sanctuary is so close to our original vault, Vault 111, I think it is, um, that maybe the settlers just like went and got them from the vault. And I love that idea. Like, I think that's that's wonderful. Gosh, I can't move this any lower, can I? Maybe we just leave it kind of melded into that mirror. I guess that's fine. You can't really tell something's wrong. Uh, we should probably try and fix the gaping hole in the bathroom wall. Like we did in the, I think it was the Long's house that we did something similar in part one or two. I don't know, but luckily it looks like this will just kind of slot in here without giving us too much trouble. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, tiny, tiny bathroom. And then I'm not sure what this room is because we did take apart the kitchen. Maybe this room is now the small like personal kitchen of whoever runs the weapons store. And then we've got two rooms back here. So this will be the bedroom. Oh, we can actually, we can keep that dresser. Look at all their candles. That's kind of neat. Maybe I keep this one. Because if I delete this dresser, the candles on top, I think will like despawn. 
So maybe I keep that one because that, maybe he has candles, you know? Hmm. Okay, so let's throw down a rug because I love a rug. Just a basic one. And we can do a bigger bed like this. Yeah, something should go over here though. Maybe a larger container like this. Yeah, because you could have both. And then maybe a smaller container here, really just because I want something to put a candle on. Because then it makes sense that they've got like a box of candles and then some candles out, which gives us some lighting. Yeah. That's cute, kind of basic, maybe a chair. It's always nice to have like a sitting area in your bedroom in case you wanna like curl up with a book, you know, without getting too sleepy. Scooch this over a little more so that both make sense. Actually, maybe this makes more sense as a bedside table and the chair makes more sense in this little nook under the window. Yeah, that does. That feels more balanced. Now this can be more centered again. Okay. That's really lovely. And then maybe like, ooh, because this is the weaponry house. Like a little blowfly head decoration there. That's cute. Okay, I like that a lot. This part of the house is, has been giving me such trouble like because so many things could go here that I almost get stuck on it um but at the same time like not a lot can go there <laughs> let's do a tiny table and then let's see if I have any decorative junk like a vase hmm Maybe I don't, I gotta get more junk. That's fine for now, I think. We can confidently scrap that bed. We'll save this rug. I love the little circular rug. Plastic pumpkin, we'll scrap, we'll scrap. Uh, because this I think makes sense as a home office kind of thing because again I really think the shopkeepers each need at least a desk to be able to plan out their uh, finances and sales and stuff this looks like there is wallpaper on this wall but if there was I feel like these decorations would have gone over it that's fine there's nothing I can do about the existing decorations there and there and then maybe some extra storage space because uh, again if this is the like weapons dealer I would imagine oops that they've got some extra inventory that's the word I was looking for thank you maybe this, maybe like that. No, actually this closes off the corner too much. Anything here that seems interesting? Oh, I would want a, um, like a weapons crafting station. Weapons workbench. Yeah, that's exactly what I would want in here. Uh, so whoever owns this store can like do some repairs on the things they're selling. They can store a little extra and then they can also come in here to manage the day to day of running a business. I 
I know I'm going to use a lot of the weapon racks like out in the main room. But maybe one here too to kind of balance stuff out. Just for like a little wall texture. And then if we have something that's like this most similar thing I can do to a safe, yes. We'll put in a safe here. Perfect for some of the more valuable weapons. Okay, that's really lovely. And then I do think this would be cute. Not stores. As the kitchenette space. Because, again, it makes sense that the main part of the house would be renovated. I'll keep this chair. Um, but we still want, like, some dining space uh, for whoever lives here. So let's do a small table and we'll gather two chairs around it. Smaller than this, I think. Yeah. Like this one. And then let's grab a matching chair. It's small, but like only one person lives here. Let me grab a cooler. Not that way. Since we don't have working fridges. But yeah, that's pretty cute. I'm looking for the wall sconce. Oh, I haven't put any plants in here yet. There little kitchenette that's cute that'll do does this room need a plant no because we did the wall safe and or the floor safe in there does this room need a plant just like a tiny yeah that's what i'm feeling cool maybe like a poster or a painting here i feel like there would be something relevant for weapons mass fusion general hospital bowling although this is like the personal area of the house so i'm less concerned with it being like a good advertisement what's this a war machine poster their war machine is mobilizing. Let's prepare ours. Oh, I love this. Yes, absolutely. The person who has the weapon shop would get some pre-war communist propaganda war machine. Absolutely. And I'm going to assume too then that the Halloween decorations are kept up on purpose because they're like spooky. Yeah, that's good. It definitely gives a sense of like bad vibes. You know what I mean? Cool. Distrustful vibes. I think, which would make sense for somebody who's encourage everybody to stock up on weapons. Okay, what do I need? I wanted um, not furniture, display. Where's display? Oh, it's in decorations. I always get confused what's furniture and what's just decorative. Maybe um, a big shelving unit would make sense here before I put a bunch of weapons racks on the walls. Like if this could get real close to that uh, wall. Yeah, I don't hate that at all. And then it'll be this wall here that has our uh, weapons displays, weapons racks. And I think we can just kind of tile those. Oh, they're gonna try and snap together. I don't think I want them snapped together. Yeah, I don't think I, okay. Oh wait, that'll go there. Let me grab that before it snaps. Yeah. 
And then I don't think I have much on me. What can I store here? Pipe pistol? Okay. What can I store here? Okay. A little pistol on that one. What are these meant for? Because like, that's too small. Oh well, that'll do for now. Let's put down some rubber flooring. Yeah. And just sort of like an entry, entryway for our patrons. And then maybe a chair. Like a stool. There we go. Yeah, that's coming together. And then maybe another chair here for like if he's got a long day at work and somebody is waiting for him or wants to keep him company or is just checking out the weapons. That's cute. Okay. Oh gosh, what house number was this? What happened to my little sheet of house numbers? This was 09. So this is going to be 10. Okay. 1 Oop. 0 weapons. That's perfect. And then, okay, if there is like a marquee sign, which I know there is, I just don't know where it is, uh, but I've never gotten to use it and I've always wanted to. I don't think it's actually in here, is it? It's not display, is it? Not statues. Ooh, but if I can't find a marquee sign, I might do a lion. Or like this guy with a weapon. Oh, that might be even better. It's, it's so brazen and it's so guy holding a weapon. You know what I mean? Okay, I actually, I really like that. And then let's do the same street light that we've been giving to the other houses. go yeah weapons house feels good and then I do feel like we can do something out here it might just be like a table and chairs set up though or a picnic table I just sort of like the idea that because these are still personal houses oh uh, that people might want to sit outside, you know? And this is, like, their patio. I don't love that it keeps snapping to the roof. Oh, there we go. No? Yes. Yes. There we go. Yeah, because they don't have cars to park, you know? <laughs> mm, let's do that and that. And I imagine that this guy has a lot of, you know gun nut friends and maybe they gather here at night and with that in mind like maybe there's a cabinet that I'm going to assume locks that can store their mods and I want actually what else is here that's interesting I know a TV would never work but I kind of want to put it here anyway because maybe this is these are like the type of people that would want the emergency broadcast to be able to like come back when it does. Mm. 
let's do that. Like they would be listening for it, you know? These are the preppers. Can you have doomsday preppers in a post-apocalypse? If you can, these are them. It's already so dark in here. Let's go ahead and do another lamp. That's cute. That's really cute. <clears throat> okay, so that was 10. And then we haven't done this house yet. Okay, so we have one house with a solid structure still. This house that's been destroyed, this house that's been destroyed, and then this house that also has a solid structure. I think this can be our armor house because I don't want the weapons and armors houses right next to each other. I kind of want some variety. So I think this will be our armor house. And then I think these two, we definitely need a bar. So let's actually, let's go ahead and do the bar next just because we, we just did a pre-built sanctuary house. Can I scrap this? No, I can't. But I can scrap this whole ruined house. Ooh, and there's a car frame in there too. All right, let's scrap it. You ready? Oh, clean slate. I love that. I love doing that. Uh, and we'll get rid of this. Build meter, or the size meter, is still high, but it's still green, which I'm gonna take as a good sign. And we've got another dog house here. We still haven't attracted a single dog. Oh! It's just dog? Is this dog meat, but I haven't actually met dog meat yet? Is that what's happening? Boy! That is what's hey, happening. Dog meat. Just saying hello. Okay, so I skipped over a bunch of quests to be able to do these uh, settlement build videos in this way. But that's what's happening, right? That's dog me, but named dog because she never was told that his name is actually dog me, uh, which I think I'll get fixed when we, if we, uh, go do the Nick Valentine quest. Because I think our, once we get Nick, he explicitly helps us with uh, a part of finding Sean's quest. Um, or he says dog meat, so maybe that'll get fixed. It's weird that the dialogue she still says dog meat, even though his name is dog officially, um, but I guess not that weird because you're not really supposed to play the game this way. Not that that has ever stopped me from doing weird playthroughs before. Oh, we can move the dark house when he's not in it. Let's do that. Just because I don't want him, you know, stuck back here. I don't mind him being at the center of our little community. I'm, this is gonna drive me crazy that this part isn't scrappable. <laughs> we might have to put some picket fence back just so that isn't just floating, but that's okay. We'll get to it. Okay, what did I say here? We need a um, like bar or restaurant. So I think, I think we do that here um but it is getting dark so let's sleep it off until we can get uh some daylight because we're doing a little after hours shopping who am i to judge who am i to judge wow the dog meat thing i haven't seen dog meat uh yet so that really <laughs> shocked me that's very funny, though. All right, here we go. We're going to build with the sunrise. I love this. Skipping over this house for now. For this restaurant, which I think I want to do as like a diner, I'm thinking the warehouse set because then we can get some cool high walls. 
uh, and we can just use more windows than we did when building the other warehouse. Uh, and I am, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did before with not putting a floor down because I mean, this flooring is, is neat. It's a very neat texture. So I think I want to keep going with that. We could do big windows for this because uh, we're not going to use, uh, we're not going to do like a greenhouse in this settlement. I'm going to have to do what I did before uh, with the walls that will snap. Yep. This side, maybe we do like a half wall. Uh, just because it's like kind of on the edge and that'll give us some visual interest too, which I love. Oh no though, because well, will this bush like cut us off? Okay, let's just slap down a bunch of pieces. There we go. And just see. Can't believe I'm doing this to myself again. Yeah, I don't think we can go through this bush. Okay, so what if we just move this in? Gosh, and when we were building the warehouse, I really want to see how tall I am next to this. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I guess human height is like the size of that half block. Okay. We'll do that and that. Hey, Preston. How's it going? Oh, and that'll be good because it's right up against the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this could be nice as like a... Mm. I was going to say like open air, like outdoor area, but we do have a ton of space in here to fill. So let's just start like fleshing it out. Fleshing it out first. There we go. Is there another like a window one that I want? Let's see how this looks with the chairs. Like, cause this is the vision. Oh, those fit really lovely. Will they go with the, I think the, the window is, is nice. You know, let me see if there's uh, less broken window. Oop, no, I went to wood habitually. Let's put a door on while I'm here. We know where the doorway is at least. Yeah. My vision for this is, is very typical diner. Okay, so we could do wall without any window we could do this one are there any other half walls with windows that's more um glass than i was expecting how do we feel about that it feels so much more greenhousey and less um dinery that i think i'm gonna go with the other more broken windows if i can find them there we go. Is this the inside? This is the inside. Oop, come back. There we go. And maybe solid one here, but maybe windowed slanty one. If I can get it. If there is one. Like that piece, but with a window in it. Do you think that exists? Maybe it doesn't. Oh no, 
there's that. I don't know how I feel about that, though, because, again, we're going back to greenhouse vibes. Which is good. Like, don't get me wrong. There. This one. That's the right one. There we go. And now we can do... Of course, I went through all that effort to let us build in daytime, and it's pouring. That'll be fine, though. And then maybe it would be nice to still have a door on this back one. Just in case people want to go out that back way. I don't know. And then I do like windows. We can do mostly windows. Uh, but let's get the cleaner, yeah, the cleaner walls. Yeah. One with windows. That is nice. I just, I don't think it's the vibe for this restaurant. Is it lovely? Not yet, but it's getting there. Mm -hmm. well, I don't want that part. Yeah, that's feeling good. Uh, and then we'll do a door back here this door. It can be a little less inviting because it's the back door. Uh, and my reason for not doing windows here is because I'm going to want to do like shelves and the liquor sign behind uh, like the actual bar counter or diner counter. Food and drink. Yeah. Because this will go here. And then I'm thinking we use the um, the counter to extend it like this. Yeah, so then we can put some seats. That goes pretty nicely together. It's getting lovelier by the minute. Oh, didn't need to pick it up again. I don't know what's happening. Don't worry about it. And let's grab some bar stools to put on there. Any with the back? Yeah. Because uh, we just want to know which way things are facing. There we go. Scooch this in a little closer. So we can have two people at the bar, somebody working here. And now, because we have these flat back walls, I know there's a bunch of like um, carnival type signs, like a hot dog sign that we now have room for. Nope. We'll do the liquor sign too. And the floats. Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola floats. And maybe a candy sign here. That'll get kind of cut off, but. That is going to bother me if it's totally cut off. So maybe we go like that. And then maybe something else goes in here. Like, um, like some buoys. Yeah. Because uh, it kind of feels like a little kitschy, like, you know, diner. Diner vibes. That's the, like a, you know. I'm trying to think of a diner. Like somewhere to actually name that I feel like is like this. Like, like TJ Fridays or something. Really specifically, I'm thinking about the um, whatever restaurant it was in that movie Office Space, but I cannot remember. And then let's do... I always like putting a chair behind the counter because I would imagine that it's exhausting to be sitting all day. So at least when nobody's 
in or it's a very slow period, I like giving whoever works these stands an option to sit down. Just something like that, you know? Maybe they have a book with them, a magazine from the general store, and they just can take a load off. Okay. And now let's keep going with these diner booths that are just the cutest thing. And we'll fill it up because this is the main dining area of all of Sanctuary. There is a big... Okay, see, we have a lot of space. And I don't want to leave it feeling empty. So let's do a counter here and a counter here to sort of make the dining space feel a little more private. And then I think like a jukebox could go really well in here. But I don't know what that would be. Ooh, cigarette machine I think would be a nice touch when they walk in like that. Um, we've got a lot of options. Let's do a dumpster out back. Cause again, I think this is like the biggest like shop that we've got here in Sanctuary. So I would imagine they go through the most stuff. Oh, that's so blocky, but maybe, maybe we use the pillar glitch to position this. Hold on, let me see if I remember how to do that. Have faith in me. Where does the pillar exist? In the barn? I think this should work for what I'm trying to do. Just like right there. What did I just scrap? What did I just scrap? Oh well. Um, that's wonderful. I usually don't like using glitches, but I'm fine with that because this we would have put this here anyway, and now the fact that it's just not floating feels delightful. I like that. Okay. What did I grab to scrap though? Oh well, let's do like a fire barrel out here or a grill, I think would be really lovely. Because we'll do the oil lamp post in front like we do with all the buildings here for, you know, consistency. They're maintained by the city. Um, should we think about having power in this? Because if we do, then we could do like an open sign and a cute like name and stuff. And lights. We might need power for the jukebox either way. Let's check. What's the difference between these two? I'm sure it's like one is classical, one is not, but I don't know which. I'm gonna do a grill. Where's the other grill? The other grill feels a bit more sanctuary to me because it was in some of the houses. Yeah. Like that. And then a fire barrel because this is, you know, out behind. And then let's do some of the wooden picnic tables, which are who knows? Mm -hmm. Finding furniture in Fallout, <laughs> it's like um, it's like a USB stick. No matter which way you guess is up or moving in the correct direction, you're always going to be wrong on your first guess. If I think it's decorations, it's furniture, and vice versa. No matter what. Okay. Then it's floating there. Okay, that's good. 
There's that weird like hill. But I think if I do it there, then it'll be. There, okay. We got two picnic tables for groups to bring their food back here. A little grilling. This is coming together. I actually think I don't want a second counter here because I keep seeing the like vending machines that I think would be um, good here. Although those wouldn't be in furniture miscellaneous. I think those are decorations miscellaneous. Milk vending machine. I cannot imagine that unrefrigerated milk would be good in the post-apocalypse, so let's go ahead and do Nuka-Cola instead. There we go. Oh, why couldn't I move that backwards more? That should fit, right? That's weird. Well, maybe it needs a certain amount of uh, space behind it to open that servicing panel. Okay, and then I'm still in the hunt for like a jukebox. Let's check what they've got in power. Ooh, this is where the marquee is. Because it can light up. Well, do we want a marquee here? Maybe. Manufacturing log gauge miscellaneous. No, these are all like, if you have something specific in mind, I'm more doing just something fun for the bar. I wasn't going to do a weight bench, but the idea of like a weight bench out here with the grill and the picnic tables does feel kind of fun, you know? Like, um, I think there's also a basketball hoop and that's the vibe I'm going for. Like, this is kind of like you're with your friends, you're behind the diner. Maybe you get a new Coca-Cola, maybe you shoot some hoops okay these are definitely the jukebox options so let's pop one in here and then we'll just see if it's the wrong one or is the difference that one is clean and one is not oh that's the only difference well then i want the more realistic one yeah let's move this picnic table over here I might want a pillar glitch again to get that to settle more. Just so that none of it is floating or like as unfloaty as possible. I understand now. I understand why people like it. Because that's still, like, realistic. Well, it is pretty far back in that corner. But I've also seen uh, picnic tables actually like that. Like, if they're out in a park long enough, the soil just kind of moves around them. Okay. If I want to do a basketball hoop, they need a surface to bounce on. And I feel like, mm, I thought this would just be like a smooth concrete surface. I don't think I can do that with, uh, what's the word? Wire. But maybe there's a warehouse floor? Yeah. And then, okay, I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure that there's a basketball hoop. Or something like it. Okay, if it's not in furniture miscellaneous, could it be in decorations? It's not display. I don't think it's a vault decoration. 
I don't think it's a nuke world decoration. Yeah, no, because that's a flag. It's not a statue. Is it a miscellaneous decoration? <gasps> yes! Thank goodness. I was going to feel so silly if I had just, like, hallucinated the whole basketball hoop thing. Let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah. It does feel like people would need a little more room to play. So let's see if we can get a second floor. Will this clip or are we too close to the edge? No? That clips pretty well, actually. Yeah, I don't hate that at all. Should we give them two? Probably, right? Two uh, hoops, I mean. Like, because that makes sense. And of course, I immediately forgot where we got that. It was miscellaneous decorations, right? Yeah, there we go. I'll move this as close as I can to the edge, but then we'll just have to pull this out a little bit to make sense. Like that. That's not even, is it? The face that way. Yeah. Because I love the idea that we have this diner and then out here we have like a little, like a park. That almost helps me to forget <laughs> the lone picket fence. I'm Okay, I might have to put back some part of the uh, picket fence just so the floating piece I can handle. Yeah, this I can stomach. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It's cute. I would do another picket fence on this side, like all the way around, but build the windows back in the yellow. So we'll hold off on that. But that's cute. There's like an outdoor park area. You can get a hot dog from in here and then go outside. We got to think about um, power though. And I think we can just do a tiny generator in here. It's a little loud. Let's do that thing. That one's nice and quiet. I hope moving it doesn't change that. But we'll put this as much in the corner as we can. And then back this up against it as much as we can. Uh, where does this take its power? It takes power, right? But where? I don't see a place to attach a wire to it. Maybe it sucks it out of the air. Usually things that need a specific number of power uh, don't just suck power out of the air. Usually they have to be wired, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, I didn't mean to jump. That did work. I guess it can. Okay. There we go. It sounds like this is going to play classical music no matter what I do. Did that turn it off? Okay, that's fine. Uh, whoever works here can figure that out and set it to a station that they enjoy. That's a really cute diner. I like that a lot. 
Let's go ahead, since we do have power in this building, and do an open sign. If I had a clever name for this diner, Sanctuary Diner, Hills Diner. Diner on a hill wouldn't be bad. But we gotta get the power closer. I'm fine with it just being a nameless diner. At least for now. If I come up with something better later, if you come up with something better, comment it, please. If this goes over here, I think it'll have power. But I'll lose it over here. Is that accurate? It looks better on this side, though, so I think I gotta do some wiring. It's okay, we should be able to reach this side pretty easily. Is that enough? Yeah. That's cute. Okay, we got there. This is lovely. This is feeling really good. Let's do, that does not sound quiet. There we go. That's nice and quiet. Wow, I cannot believe I did not know that trick before I started the series, and I am so grateful because being able to, you just turn it off and back on again, and sometimes it starts quieter. That's wonderful. Like, that's an absolute delight. And we'll just sprinkle some of these. Okay. I love that. That's a great diner. Oh, we gotta do our um, house numbers. Okay, so where were we at? Because we skipped one. This was 10. I love this statue. I was on the fence about the statue. I love this statue now. Okay, so that was 10. That faces that way, so that's nine. This building that we haven't done yet is 11. This would be 12. One, two, do we have like a food? Yes, we do. The food house. I love that. I love the street numbers. And I like, I like that this is like a back way of getting to the park. If you don't want to go through the diner at night, that's wonderful. Okay, moving right ahead. I think it's time to build here. Let's clean up a little bit because we are firmly in the yellow still. I understand why there's build limits and I am grateful for them because I feel like they, you know, stop me from breaking my game. Is there anything else I can scrap over here? Or are we already pretty scrapped? <sighs> like, um, I played Cult of the Lamb and that... I broke so easily <laughs> just by collecting too many followers. So I'll take I'll take the size limit. Let's see how far we can get before we're forced to start scrapping other stuff. Uh, so my vision for this is actually to do a town hall. Because uh, when I think about, you know, how do we rebuild civilization in the post-apocalypse, we have to think about how do we organize the people who we have. And I, I think having a place where we can give updates to the community, get thoughts from the community, that's really important. Does that feel centered and good? Yes, it does. I think I'm gonna do the same thing of using the floor of the original foundation. Uh, but I might change my mind if we want to, like, extend this. I'm thinking barn set. Oh, I hate that that, like, goes off the edge. I might have to scrap this and actually do flooring, because if that's going to go off the edge... But I can still line it up to where the stairs are, because I can't change the stairs. OK, 
Okay. I hate that little like lip, but I think it still functions as a step on the stairs. So I won't be too mad about it because that way, yeah, that way we avoid the problem of having a little lip, you know, off the edge. It is going to push up our build limit though, or push on our size limit. But so is anything we do. Okay. I'm not super familiar with the barn set, so I don't really know what we can do here. But I'd love if we could do like kind of a second story like we did in the warehouse. Oh, goodbye, original flooring. I loved you. Hmm. We do have stairs, so I'm going to assume that a second story would be encouraged. Yeah, with something like this. Or this. Hmm. I'm still just kind of feeling around. <laughs> go. Oops. If I do like a half floor like that and then I'll want to turn oop, turn these so they feel more cohesive. if I do the half floor, then maybe this can go kind of unobtrusively like that. And then we don't need to extend all the way. Actually, this could be a half floor piece too, just to keep it kind of like a little catwalk. Uh, Cause my vision here, if you've ever been in like a New England congregational church, um, there's usually like a second story where you know, the people who sing for the services and like more pews are. And we are in New England. I mean, we're in the Commonwealth, but you know what I'm saying. So let's do non windows on this side, just because this would be our like stairs area and then maybe some half walls. Like the tiny windows feel, I mean, they feel very New England to me. Mm. Keeping one eye on that size limit. And then we can do some bigger windows on this side because we would do bigger windows on both sides. Uh, my high school was on like some historical, it was like a historical building and one of the buildings on our like high school campus uh, was a congregational church because we were in New England. And I loved it. I love having like school meetings there. Uh, and I think this feels similarly. I think we would do plain walls here in the back so people don't get like distracted. If this doesn't fit here because of that bush, I will cry. Let me grab the whole thing and then we'll try and put it back. This might not work, but it might. Wow, I kind of didn't expect it to work so well. 
That's lovely. This could still feel weird. It could feel too blocky. But we'll figure it out either way. Ooh. Actually, what if these should be like slanted? Do we have like slanty pieces? I think so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Let's see what kind of doors. Oh, which way does this door open? I guess we'll try and find out. I think I like... I would like it if it... Sorry, I can just put two? We can just double door it. No, I will get rid of this one. Okay. Let's do um, the house number and the oil lamp before I forget. And also because I love the way it makes uh, all of our buildings look intentional. So this is what, 12? This will be 13. Unless 13 is a superstitious number for them, but... I don't think it would be. Okay, one, three. And I don't think we're gonna get a preset word for town hall. So we might have to spell that out ourselves, which has been difficult. And it also takes a lot of my brain power to spell. O W N H A got most of them. Let's just get a little closer. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. There we go. I don't care if town hall is one word or two. Don't tell me if it's two. I don't want to know. Okay, that's cute. And then I think I think that the Minutemen flag, the same way we did for the... That does feel so much like the warehouse, though, that I almost don't want to do it. Is there a, um, like a freestanding flag? Yes, there is. Holy moly, I didn't think there would be. The Minuteman flagpole. And then U.S. flagpole. Mm, no, that feels too schoolyard. Okay, I don't mind it, which is... The Minuteman flagpole, that's really cool. Yeah, okay, this is coming together. I think that the flag could be nice on the wall inside as like a backdrop to whoever's speaking. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, furniture, chairs. Um, when I pictured this in my head, I pictured it with benches like this, but I actually think that benches with backs would be nicer uh, so people can really like sit and, and listen, you know? This one is obstructed view. We'll still do one in front of the stairs, or is that too like close? I think the town hall would also be a nice space for like any civil ceremonies that have to happen, like if there was a wedding. 
Okay, I know it's getting dark and that makes it really hard to see, but I just wanna see if there's like a good table that would read like a pulpit. Is pulpit the word I'm looking for? Maybe it's not. Hmm. Something tall enough that somebody could speak from it while standing. That's too metally. Though maybe that could work. That would work if it was taller, but it's not. Okay, wait, I thought I wanted a, um, like a standing pulpit thing, but I actually, now I'm thinking like Parks and Rec where everybody's, you know, seated to address a group. And I, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, and if you do want to use this space for a wedding, that can obviously be moved. It's a multifunctional space. I forget sometimes that the Commonwealth, I mean, it is, it's New England, it's Massachusetts, but you get it. And I think that the way that the original like settlements were in New England is a great way to think about basing our settlements, um, because you really did have these like smaller self-sufficient uh, communities that had to learn to provide food and shelter and safety before they could start doing bigger things like no taxation without representation. Let's uh, figure out the roof situation. Turn on my pit boy. So we're building in the dark again. I guess we're doing the same kind of roof we just did in the diner. But it works out. It's pretty nice. like a town hall. Um, I feel like the roof, cupola, cupola, what is that? If I can figure out what piece it's supposed to be on. Oh, I hear it clicking. Hold on, <laughs> what can I use to like get up there and see? stairs hold on this is scaffolding only for decoration purposes because i always picture uh, like a congregational church with something like that there we go yes absolutely yes uh, let's see if we can do some wall sconces to lighten things up while we're in here and then i'll talk more about new england because i love to I think a lot of times when we think about the post-apocalypse and rebuilding after the post-apocalypse, a lot of the focus is on things like, well, how do we save and rebuild the technology that we have today? You know, like I, I read a lot of those guides of like, how would you restart society? Um, and a lot of the focus is things like, okay, how do you rebuild Wi-Fi? And I'm not concerned about that. In, in like this particular world, I'm not concerned about that really at all. Um, but what we would be concerned with is things more like, let's scooch this out. How do we keep people safe and happy and fed? And then eventually, like once we're organized like that, how do we reinvest that community into, you know, public works projects? Like, can we make sure these oil lamps stay lit? Can we make sure that trading goes smoothly? And from there, society can rebuild itself. Okay, I want some sort of railing for this upper area. Which I think there are some in the concrete set. 
But where? Because it's not walls. It's not floors. I've been missing this miscellaneous because I can't even see it. Look at how hard it is to see that. Yeah, because that's exactly what I want. Yeah. Just like something to keep people from falling off. Oh, that's not going to like snap to the edge. Okay. I'm really pushing the size limit. Okay, I'm also thinking uh, that if you have, I'm trying to think of a word that isn't vagrant. If you have like a vagrant in town, is there like a, you know, easy place that you could put them to sleep where they don't have to pay rent or anything? And I think it would be in this, this church-like space. I think this is the closest we've got. So I think a sleeping bag up here would be what they do. Like if there's somebody passing through who doesn't have any work, um, they can't, you know, rent a room from somebody else. I think that in the town hall would be like a nice, we'll give them a suitcase. Actually, let's scooch this back here. Because I feel like it's kind of like a sheltered little attic -y space. Just as like the most temporary survival type storage. You know what I mean? Okay, and then this is still a lovely place to stand and watch. Like if the pews are all full. And there, this could also be like a, you know, courthouse. You got a jury, you got a sentencing. That's, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't think I'm using the correct terms, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then, cause I'm sick of building in the dark. I think we're gonna sleep till the morning. This is coming together. I love the idea of a New England congregational church slash town hall in a build like this. I think that's perfect for sanctuary. Okay, we are getting there. I still feel like I need my pit boy light though because it's pretty dark in here. Maybe let's do some candles on this big table. Which would be just some decorations. There, there. And then I feel like, because uh, we have some of those like oil portraits, that would be cool somewhere. And here might be the place to do a little one like back here. Click, 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 click. Some of these are real cute. Maybe whoever suggested the idea of this town hall, me, was basing it on, you know, revolutionary times intentionally. I love it. That's the town hall. I'm absolutely delighted by that. That's lovely. And Cosworth is not at his job, but he's still assigned to it. And he's got his cute little hat. I'm not going to lie. The, uh, the build size thing making me real nervous um but i know we have the weapon shop to do so let's go ahead and do the weapon shop this is the house with the barricade in it and i said this in part one i'll start scrapping as i talk about this uh, i said this in part one there have clearly been people in sanctuary since the initial like bombs dropped and this is what i mean by that because somebody has clearly set up a barricade in this house and with a lot of the houses being destroyed but in like a weird complete way not in like a bombs way i think i think that somebody was here i think that there was bathroom stall door i think that they were attacked i think that there was some violence and i think more than anything this barricade supports that theory Oh, I can get rid of that ceiling lamp? That's new. The other ceiling lamps didn't let me get rid of them. Counter I can't get rid of, though. 
Okay, so before I destroy the stuff in the kitchen, I'll keep the flag. Thank goodness there's so much stuff in here to scrap. I really didn't know what we were going to do. Uh, I've said this in other videos, but I'll say it here too. I know that there's that glitch where you can drop a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll leave that there for now. Where you can drop a bunch of stuff and then scrap it and that counts. Ew, I hate the idea of a rug in a bathroom. Uh, you can drop a bunch of like modded weapons. And then once you scrap them, it reduces or it increases the build size because the game thinks you're scrapping things that were like previously there. I hate that because you're still going to glitch out the game. You know, like it's not actually increasing the the size of the settlement. Uh, I guess this was a kid's room, but we're just going to clean that up. You're not actually increasing the size of the settlement. You're just glitching the game. Uh, and there are some glitches that I'm OK with and then some that just feel counter to like what I'm trying to do. And that one is one that feels counter to what I'm trying to do. Cigarette cart? I don't really need this chair in here. Okay. So this works as a bedroom. Two identical dressers. I guess I didn't need to scrap that one because that is a really good place for a dresser. But look at how nice Sanctuary looks. This will be a good bedroom. This can stay the bathroom. In fact, let's not in decorations miscellaneous, furniture miscellaneous. Let's go ahead and put the vault toilet and sink. There wasn't a toilet in here originally. I mean, there was in the barricade, but not in the bathroom. I guess that's where Whoever was barricading themselves got the toilet. That's fine. I know it's so close to the mirror, but honestly, if you're just like looking in, it looks fine. Okay, bathroom. Maybe. This makes sense as our bedroom. So let's put down uh, a nice bed. This could be like a workshop like we had it last time. I think we got to do the same sort of thing that we did in the armor house. Ooh. Well, I think there's the guy who was barricading. Oh no, I don't know what to do about that. I guess he's just in there. Okay. Ooh, okay. That threw me. I did not expect, I didn't expect a body. I didn't expect a body. Okay. We're just going to keep moving. Uh, we'll give him a desk. I'm trying not to think about the dead body in the other room. We'll do a desk chair. And then not shelving. Not miscellaneous, right? There's nothing I want here. I do really like this like little shelf for bathrooms. And if I can do a plant on top of this little shelf, I will lose my mind. I don't think we can though. I think plants have to be on the floor. Yeah. That's okay. I still like the idea of a plant in here. Mm, by the window. It would need some light. And that way it'll help cover up the, um, the hole in the wall. Uh, but if this isn't going to have a plant on it, then I'm going to put it in this corner. That's a nice bathroom. Okay, but we have some space on the wall here for our ooh, armor guy. And I don't want these paintings. I don't mind an abstract painting, especially because that one looks like um, a bomb. It's kind of appropriate. Yeah. Um, maybe a little extra chair in here. Maybe this guy is friends with our guy from the 
weapon shop and maybe sometimes they do their taxes together. Is that chair taking up too much space? That chair might be a little too big. If I can find a smaller one to scrunch in that corner. Yeah, I like this. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and then we've got his bedroom here. Hmm. What do we need in this space? This feels like pretty basic. We can definitely do some shelving because we've got this nice patch of wall here for any personal effects that they have. I do like an ottoman in general. So maybe actually, maybe we scooch the bed over and then we do like a cozy chair and ottoman in this corner. Like a little reading nook. You know, like this is our armor, our armor store, but also, you know, it's somebody who appreciates art, who appreciates a little reading nook. Oh, we are pushing that build limit, y'all. I can't put that over that. Let's do the smaller candles and we'll do them right on the edge of the dresser. Okay, that's a very pleasant bedroom. Lovely little office, nice little bathroom. And then we've got a bunch of space here that I'm worried we won't be able to decorate properly because we're so close to the size limit. Kind of forgot about all those armor uh, displays. That's okay. Let's do, let's put the store down. I can't believe that scrapping everything in this house didn't give us more room. I really thought that it would. Well, I'll put down, we'll do like our non-negotiables, uh, which in this case are gonna be the armor store itself. Of course. Uh, like shelving? Do this over here, and then our armor display guys. There's just so much blank space in here that I don't know what to do with. I mean, I. I know what I would do with it, but with the size limit, we got to get craftier. Hmm. Let's do, did I already do the letters on the door? No, I didn't. We did, uh, what number was town hall? 13? 13 for town hall. So we'll do 14 for our armor store. I forgot the word for armor. One. And I would assume there's one here for armor, right? Armor, yeah. The armor house. And before we run out of space, let's do the oil lamp. Emporium. And then 
I would fill up these shelves with armor if I had a bunch on me, but I'm not sure how much I have. Uh, these two are just guarding that situation. Uh, bathroom, office, bedroom. That all looks good. Let's go ahead and put some armor on these. Yeah, let's do a full uh, combat armor set. Can the Minutemen outfit actually go below him? I love the idea that they're, they've are they got the Minutemen uh, outfit on beneath all this, because it, do I have um, leather armor? I've got at least one piece. Because that way it's very much like, look at how this would look on you. The Minutemen. Because that's, that's our market. You got to know your audience. You know, any sales situation, you got to know your audience. Okay. We are so close to the size limit. And we still have another house to go. Let's pop down a chair for whoever is working here. Oh, there's more I would do here. But I think we got to be, we got to be smart about it. Okay. Okay. I believe that whoever owns the armory is maybe new to town. Oh, no. You know what I'll do instead of this? That'll give us a lot more, uh, like, visual weight is an armor workbench. Yeah. I think we'll get a lot more bang for our buck with the armor workbench being here. That's nicer. That feels a lot more balanced. Okay, I feel good about that. But maybe whoever runs the armory is a bit of a minimalist, doesn't know how to cook, so they don't have a kitchen. Uh, but they spend a lot of time in the diner. Okay. We still have this one building left, which luckily we don't need to put up walls or anything because it's a pre-built house. Uh, but what house number did this get? 10... Did we not put a house number on it, but we're calling it 11? Because if this is 12, yeah, so this is 11. Oh, good. I'm glad I accommodated for that in my head when I numbered the diner. Eleven. One. One. Oop. Okay, it's not gonna be a weapons house or a storage house or mods or melee or loot or food. I th I'm thinking of this as a hotel because uh, right now there's not anywhere for out of towners to like rent. I think we're gonna have to spell out hotel. Uh, and I think sanctuary because it's a huge settlement is somewhere where people would come to stay especially because this is where the town hall is. Maybe mayors from neighboring settlements um, would have to come pass through. And so having a nice place that they can rent, uh, I think is going to be important. And because it's not going to be a personal house, uh, I think we can get away with decorating it a little less. Okay, so let's see how that works because I haven't actually like looked inside here. Oh, usually I would pick that up, but I think doing it in uh, the settlement view might help us more with that build limit. Okay, this we can definitely scrap. I don't think, hold on. Toolbox, scrap. Perhaps we'll grab when we're out of workshop mode. Let's get rid of that and that. We can't scrap that, but that's okay. And while I'm here, let's do our nice vault toilet that we've stolen from down the road. And a sink. I gotta believe that they have some sort of plumbing. 
And that's what I was talking about earlier with like public works projects that local governments can organize. I think maintaining plumbing would be right up there. Okay, wood crate we can scrap, dresser we can scrap, chair we can scrap, grill we can scrap. This desk we're gonna scrap, these files we're gonna scrap, this lamp, scrap, chair, done. Wood box, I'm so glad there's so much junk in here because we can scrap it all. See, now there's a little teeny gap in that size limit, and that's what we're going to build in. Okay, this is good. This gives us at least um, two rooms that we can make in the hotel. Ooh, I've never seen that desk lamp before. Okay, so that'll be room one. This will be room two. Could this be a room? I guess it could. Let's go ahead and grab that stash this could be a very tiny room this is the bathroom shared space and then what if we put some walls internally to make this yet another room mama murphy do don't sit on that chair don't you do it oh i actually i can store that let's scrap that let's we'll scrap that Let's go ahead. Actually, do we need a welcome mat? No. No, we don't. Okay. See, I could see this being like if this is like a like a little youth hostel type situation, then keeping the kitchen would make sense. But I think that the look or the vibe that I'm going for is more like squeezing as many beds as possible. So if we can use walls inside, then that's what I'm gonna do to make this another room. And then this will be the check-in area. Okay, that the little size gap has gotten a little bigger, so I'm feeling slightly more confident. Y'all, if we can have an indoor door like that, Can we get it to not float, or do we have to do a floor under it? Oh, I'm in walls still. Maybe if we um, if we place this wall first. If this works, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because that would be a nice little bedroom to rent out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like there's a gap, but it's not terrible at all. That can be room one. That can absolutely be room one. And then, because, I mean, there's no official hotel desk, we can use that counter to make this a check-in. Yeah. Although, this feels like we could do maybe two kind of back-to-back. -back. That feels too big, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels too big. Let's do, let's do just one, but we'll face it like the way, uh, like this way. Like if Mama Murphy was our hotel, uh, what's our word I'm wanting for? So for some reason, all I can think of is sommelier and that's not it at all. Okay. And just because I know we don't have doors on the other rooms, but because this is the door that you see as soon as you walk in. Although maybe we swap these. Hold on. Because I think that a hotel would be really nice with a, a small sitting area. And if, if the door ooh, is where I had it originally, then we can't really have that. Okay. 
That's it. That's it. Because now, okay, so imagine Mama Murphy is our uh, hotel, like, desk manager, front desk manager. Then we can do a small, like, sitting area here. Ooh, let's do the, um, the little round rug first. Not this. I keep clicking into things I don't mean to. Why is that floating on the roof? Yeah, stay down here. That doesn't seem like a very comfy chair. This is my favorite chair. Small table. Maybe like... Yeah. Oh, this is cute, y'all. No, I think that comes a little too close to the check-in desk. can't go in that little nook, can it? Maybe this goes at the end of the hall? Is that where the closets meet? Yeah, maybe a cigarette machine at the end of the hall. I'm assuming that smoking is cool in this universe. Maybe it's not, and Preston's gonna come after me for giving everybody lung cancer. Although, I gotta believe that cancer isn't like a huge issue in the Fallout universe, because everybody's so irradiated already that either they've fixed it or it's, you know, already something they deal with. We'll put an ashtray here if people do get their cigarettes from that machine. Okay, that's really lovely. Maybe a painting. Yeah, something very hotel-y, you know what I mean? Motel art. Yeah, okay. It's a really cute check-in desk. I I almost feel like I want there to be somewhere for like a continental breakfast, but that might be <laughs> that might be pushing it. Especially because we are very limited size-wise. So let's go ahead and just put uh Bez down. <sighs> so my instinct would be Sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. My instinct would be that we want like small beds for this, but maybe it's the opposite. Maybe we have really nice beds in here or at least good sized beds. I guess these bedrooms are gonna be a little bigger than I like thought. Let's do that. And if there is, uh, somebody pointed out that the suitcases can go under a bed. Oh, that's incredibly lovely. I love that. And again, because this is just a hotel room, we can leave this mostly undecorated with the idea being that like maybe somebody would book a long-term stay and they would want to furnish most of it themselves. Like maybe if they're coming in for a few weeks and they've got, you know, some furniture, I could see that. Somebody's getting put in the boiler room. Where does this bed fit? I think here is our best option. It's okay. This is the cheapest room. So they're still getting a good value for what they're paying. And I think we can use our little um, wall letter or wall numbers again here because, you know, we want the, the concierge to be able to be like, you're in room one, you're in room two. So... Let's do R. R is short for room in this case. Because <laughs> we have single digit rooms, so I don't need the zero, but I think it looks better with two digits. So that'll be room one. This will be room two. No, it won't go there. Oh, but it will here. That's good. Let's 
let's get that as close as we can. Room one, room two, room three. Uh oh, same thing on these walls? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, see the texture will block it if it's here, but we can squeeze it in up here. R3. Just for consistency, let me see if I can move this. Oh, thank goodness it moves both of them. Never mind. What happened to the number? Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Can it go like right above? I don't think so. Hold on, we're just feeling it out. We're just feeling it out. Okay, so that's our one. I think we move this. Oh, it didn't grab both that time. Oh, there we go. Then both display, that's our two. Paneling. I'm just feeling around. We could do it lower. I think it goes here. Our two, our three, and this is going to be our four. Oh, yeah, that'll work. C, D, E, F, G. R four. Okay, so we have four rooms in this hotel, which is pretty good. We did a bed in this one. We did a small bed in this one. Which, you know what? Let's move the suitcase, because this is our most cramped room. So I'm assuming somebody's going to only be here for like a night. But this one, let's at least offer a dresser. Because while they might be coming with some things, like I'm thinking like maybe an antique table or whatever they, you know, grabbed when they were escaping wherever they were. Um, I don't think that they would come with a dresser. So maybe offering them a dresser is still a nice touch. Yeah, that feels good. And then that's our smallest room. That's our bathroom. This is a slightly larger room, so let's do the same thing we did in the first room. If I can get the bed to go on the floor. Come on. Okay. I don't know why it's so determined to fight me, but I will fight back. There we go. There we go. I don't know why there's a robe in there, but... What can you do? Same small dresser. And then let's do, because you know, sometimes you don't want a um, queen size, but sometimes you want two if you're staying with a friend. So maybe if two people are traveling together, having two makes sense. And then we'll do a dresser. Okay, we put all that furniture down without hitting our size limit, which is actually making me feel pretty confident. Um, let me just make sure, because that was the last house we had to do, right? That was 11. We did the diner. We did the town hall. Uh, we did the armor shop, which we were, you know, a little stingy about. <laughs> but that's okay. Because uh, I think we have like just enough size left that we can decorate this a little bit. You know, like put a put some motel art in these other rooms. Why not? Yes, a little cat painting in this one. Uh, bathroom should stay as is. This though is a problem though. If we're offering our guests privacy, uh, we don't want the bathroom to be open to a guest's private room. So if I do just like, yeah, that's nice. Well, hold on. 
What's the closest fit that I can get? If it would go into the wall, that'd be the best. We've had the other wood wall go into the wall. Hold up, that looks really good. Does it look good on this side? Yes, it does. Oh, delightful. Okay, good. And now we can offer uh, this room some nice hotel art, motel art too. What's the difference between a hotel and a motel? I don't know. Okay, see those things are gonna block it. It's gonna be blocked on that side. It could be nice on this side, but this is the wall I want it on, to be honest. So maybe we do a nice, a nice mousse. That's lovely. Some motel art for you, and a suitcase, a painting for you, and a dresser. Uh, we didn't give you a painting. And I think you would love two kitties playing. Absolutely, yes. It's a very, like, kitschy hotel, you know what I mean? Actually, maybe I do want to figure out how to do, like, a... Uh, Maybe I just, do I still have any uh, coffee mugs? Or do I not have coffee mugs anymore? Ooh, a hot plate would be good. Cause if I do find coffee mugs, that'll keep it warm. I could do a tea kettle. You know what I mean? Like my vision is you check in and then there's like a, a coffee kettle here. Let's go check. Take that. Thank you. Okay. Well, unless you want to stay here, I recommend going back to your own house. Okay. So that's ooh, pretty much it. Do we do the typical oil lamp outside? No. And we're kind of limited to keeping this simple because we're we're out of space. But I think it looks really good. Like, I think that we solved that problem in a way that's very satisfying instead of one that feels bad. Like, this feels like an austere room. And I like that because it's a bad motel. I mean, not bad, just austere. Okay, I think that does it for the motel. I'm just walking around seeing if there's anything else that, like really obviously needs attention. Um, I know I said that I wanted to do, I said in part two, not in this video, that I wanted to do like a Brahmin fence down here, but I, I don't think we'll be able to fit a fence. So I think that has to get cut a little bit. But that'll be okay. Um, because what I would rather use those last few pixels of size limit for is actually an amphitheater. The town hall got me thinking that like the town hall is a great space, um, but what if we want like an outdoor space as well? And I think it would be here kind of coming down this hill. So some people could sit on the slope of the hill and I'm, I'm thinking right in that gap in the fencing is where I would like want it. So maybe we just do like some of these. Oh, I can scrap that. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. And then we'll kind of layer them. Oh, I might need to pillar glitch these into the dirt a little bit more. Yeah, because those are those are actively floating. Uh, what do I want? Pillar. There we go. And if I just sink it a little bit into the ground, then that's really lovely because it's it looks like it's well uh, embedded. Feels like the wrong word, but like it belongs there. Like it's it's built into the ground. So if we're having like a an outdoor meeting, people can sit. 
And then do I want a kind of stage? Maybe I do want a kind of stage if I can afford it space-wise. We still got a pixel left. Let's do... Something like this. How close into the ground can I get this? That feels nice and unobtrusive. Oh, that one feels even less obtrusive. You'll see, you'll see what I'm thinking, because I like uh, the idea of these ramps being there. Yeah. Because, like, an amphitheater is great, but also, I am a theater kid at heart. And, and the way to keep people happy is bread and circuses. And, you know, where else are you going to have a circus if not here? Maybe they find some old uh, scripts and decide to put them on. Oh, we might have to oh, pick this up a little bit so I can get the scaffolding on properly, and then we'll sink it back into the ground. Um, but I really like the idea that this could be a place like for the mayor to come in and give speeches or other people to come in and give speeches or an actual stage. to our little amphitheater. That's so lovely. That's so cute. Oh, I love that so much. I'm just checking that we have enough food and water and everything. Uh, is there any sort of like backdrop? I'm thinking no, I think it looks good. Let's see. Uh, no. I know these are raider things. I'm just checking. Because something like this, if we ignore the facts that the um, the top is spiky, it could just be like good sun cover for the outdoor seating. But I don't think we really need that there. I'm going to assume that Sanctuary is like pretty temperate as a location. Uh, no stores. Any miscellaneous resources here? Scavenging. We're not doing a Brahmin feed trout area or siren. Pillory would be a funny prop for a play, but they haven't put on any plays yet. I would, if we hadn't spent our size limit doing other things, I think that a barber chair would be very cute somewhere in Sanctuary, just not in this build. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm not mad that we've run out of space. I think we've filled the space in a really lovely way. Does like a hedge look good there? Mm, I could take it or leave it. Okay, decorations. Ooh, maybe a lamp. How does that feel? Does that feel like pleasant? Yeah, it does actually. Some lighting for, yeah. And then, what if we do another flagpole? Where were those? Here at the back? Yeah. Minuteman flagpole back here. Because, you know, this isn't always just a stage. Sometimes this is a political arena. See, Mama Murphy's already ready for the show. I'm telling you. Uh, sometimes, like, the mayor would gather here. So, I like that. I like that a lot. That's really cute. Okay, I think that's all we can do. Um, let me check for any junk I have that we might be able to use. That looks so good at night. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay, let me check for any junk that we can use. And then if there's nothing else we can do, do we get more cats? Uh, then we'll sleep and do a tour in daylight. In the meantime, though, a 
let's set our cats free, which leaves us with three cats for Mama Murphy, which I think is a wonderful amount. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with stopping at three cats for her. Actually, should we put more cat bowls in her room to account for that? Where are the cat bowls? Yes. Where's Mama's house? We got our doctor doing great. We got Sturgis in his house doing great. I am so happy with how this has all come together. I really, I feel very good about Sanctuary. It's a big settlement, but it's not an overly crowded one because we were kind of forced by the build limit. Uh, but in a way that feels good. It feels like an early, you know, development of Sanctuary. Like they will continue to build out what they want to build out. We figured out we couldn't scrap any of these, right? Yeah, that's right. She's new. I don't remember having a guard. Yeah, we're at nine people, so. Let's go ahead and assign her to the new diner. Just because diners bring up happiness more than, more than uh, weapons or armor do. All right, we got the cats. I see we also have a dog in here and we'll come back to let that dog out um, because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the dog that you catch is actually a wild mongrel and then it attacks everybody. Uh, and I would love if that didn't happen. Okay, there we go. Had to shove my way in there. Oh, everybody's hanging out at the park. We got John and Codsworth in his little hat. We got the medic. We got Marcy. I don't know what Mama's doing. We got the restaurant. We'll wait for that lady to come on over. Um, but yeah, sometimes you catch a dog in the dog cage and it's not a junkyard dog. It is a mongrel. And then it's not great. Okay, so we can scrap that because we're good. We'll scrap that because we're good. Uh, we ended up never needing this. So let's go ahead and scrap that. All right, fingers crossed everybody. We've gotten really lucky in this build so far, so I will not be disappointed if this doesn't work out. Yeah, see? That's not great. Ugh, brace yourselves. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I didn't love that. Okay. Well, that'll despawn. Uh, we'll just go ahead and repair that. And uh, reconnect it. Uh, like I said, we have had so much good luck in this build. I'm, I'm not even bummed. We got two more cats for Mama Murphy. How great is that? Okay, did I have? Yes. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I was hoping for for our uh, hotel. Coffee tin. Let's do a few coffee cups too. Um. Do we want a comfy pillow or two for the motel? Motel, hotel. Ooh, we can get some of the other leather pieces for the armor store as well. And some patrolman sunglasses to display there. And I know it's still night, but we'll just hold off on doing our full tour till the morning. I'm fine with uh, setting up mannequins and stuff in the dark. And what did I just pick up? More leather and sunglasses. That looks really cute. I'll turn on my pit boy so y'all can see it. That looks really good. I don't know if I believe all those boogeyman stories oh. about the Institute. It all sounds like paranoia to me. Oh, Preston, we literally have proof. We've seen it. That's okay. Where am I going? Back to the motel to give them some coffee. I don't know what the difference is between a hotel and a motel. 
uh, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing there is a real difference and somebody in the comments will tell me. Um, I don't think that difference still matters at this point in the post-apocalypse. Although it's feeling less and less like a post-apocalypse every build that we do. It's really coming together. I think the um, the Commonwealth is, is in pretty good shape after this build. I don't know what we're doing next or how many we have left, but I'm feeling good about the state of people here. Let me see if I can lift this and put it on top of the hot plate because that would make me so happy. Yeah, we can. And now we can. Is there a way to change? Yes. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to crouch. I was just trying to change the rotation axis. Okay, that looks really nice. I'm scared to like bump it too hard. That looks really nice. Uh, so let's get some sleep and then we will do our full settlement tour. And conveniently, we can stay in the motel. Hotel. I think if I had to guess, uh, and I'm obviously not Googling this, if I had to guess motel is like a motor lodge, like the M and that would be like the rooms face the parking lot and you can just drive right up to it as opposed to a hotel that has like hallways. Um, so maybe I am right in calling this a hotel, but I also, I don't know. All right, full tour time. Okay, here we are at Sanctuary at the end of three parts, and we are finally ready for our complete tour of the Sanctuary Hills build. You come in, in here, we have two guard posts. Here on the left, we have our guard barracks. Uh, this is, of course, owned by the Minutemen. This is where people who are actively on rotation are serving. So they don't have much you know, personal space. They have these three sort of bunk beds. They have this cafeteria-like setup. They do have an edatronic. Um, back here, we have a lot of storage. Uh, up here, we have some more automated turrets. This is a place where the guards can patrol, uh, keep an eye on the entrance to the settlement and everything. Uh, same here, we've got some seating out here for them to just keep an eye and again this is for guards who are actively on a patrolling rotation because right next to it we have this off duty off duty guard house um that apparently has taken out a wild mongrel we're just gonna scooch that out of the way and you're gonna pretend you didn't see it because this tour is very professional uh and very well organized don't worry about it so this is house number two um it currently says smith i'm gonna change that to be something like guard house i think that pattern ended up working out better Turrets are working like they should. Uh, it looks like we have dog meat situated here as the guard dog, uh, but we have some armor and uh, weapon repair stations here. Uh, this is where like the leader of the um, this particular branch of the Minuteman and off-duty guards would be. So of course we have a desk um, for them to work out scheduling, but we also have a, a small chatting area. So if somebody comes into the settlement with a concern, they can sit down with the head guard and have that chat. Uh, we have a small kitchen here. They have some coffee they have a cooking area uh, and then back here we have a little uh, bed I forgot the word for bed a little bed another desk another bed um, so when the guards aren't on patrol this is a more permanent house for them to sort of relax coming up here uh, here on the left, we have the Long's house. So this is Marcy and Jung uh, that we found in Quincy. They have a small kitchen, uh, a little seating area, which has been very important to them. They've had a very traumatic time. So it's important for them to be able to have friends over, you know, Murphy and Preston and Sturges. Uh, they have a small bathroom. They have some storage. Um, they have a little suitcase here. You know, we're hoping that as they recover, they learn that it's okay to put some roots down, uh, a small home office and a little couch because if one of them is working you know the other one wants to be close by company is very important uh, and then they have their beds pressed together to form a king bed uh, and they have this lovely little sitting area and a classical radio which you know again is important to them in their healing and recovery now that they've you know safely resettled in sanctuary so that was the Long's house. Next up, we have the Murphy house, which of course is where Mama Murphy lives. This is 04. Uh, Mama Murphy has three cats, which I have absolutely... What the heck? Uh, that was a very unprofessional part of the tour. I'm deeply sorry. I deeply regret uh, the trauma 
that that might have caused and the unprofessionalism. Let's just scooch this out here. This is, uh, of course, not typical for a sanctuary. Don't worry about it. We are attracting more guards as we speak. Uh, and that's a snack for the cats. Yay! So <laughs> back to the tour. This is Mama Murphy's kitchen. Ignore the blood. Uh, she has three cats. She has a small little pre-war stove. So she doesn't do much cooking. She's got uh, some coffee. Uh, she, again, has a little seating area so she can have her friends over. Uh, she's got a small bathroom and a little bedroom as well with some nice flower painting. Up next... We have the general store. So this is 05. It's also known as the loot house. Uh, this is our general store. Hello, general store owner. Uh, there's a lot of great junk in here. There's a TV that's been repaired by Sturges and is available for sale, even though there's no television broadcast happening. Uh, there's some junk that's for sale, board games, lighting, you know, anything that you could really want. Uh, one bobblehead for sale and a bunch of awesome, astoundingly awesome tales which is fun. And then her personal room is back here. Uh, she's got a little bed, filing cabinet. Very cozy. I love this general store setup. It's just, it's so, it's so cute and, and like, um, like scrappy in a good way, you know? Okay. So we did Mama Murphy. We did the general store. Now over here, we have the Chem's house, which is, you know, sort of a hospital for us. Um, so here's a little area that the, um, the doctors can take a, a little lunch break and here they can hang out their outside clothes and change into scrubs when they come here to work. Here is our head surgeon. Uh, we also have uh, this locker for them to store their clean scrubs, a little waiting area. Uh, so you can get a drink of water. You can change into an examination gown if you need to. You can sit here and just relax before the doctor has time to see you. Uh, and then here we have a uh, chem station. So the doctor can actually produce stim packs in house. This is of course a restricted area, but I'm the general, so I'm allowed to come back here and give you a tour. Uh, we have some, you know, meds, a cooking pot for stirring up some more meds. Uh, everything that we need can be produced here in house, which is, which is very lovely. Uh, no supply chain issues here. Uh, the doctor has a small desk for working, a little bathroom here with some medical equipment in it and the doctor's bed, uh, and a blood, blood, a blood bug mounted uh, for them here because, you know, blood bugs are the original phlebotomists. Gosh, I hope I'm using that word right. <laughs> Phlebotomist. That's who takes your blood, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't need to explain the joke. Next up here, we have the clothing house, which is Codsworth's. I know it's light, so we can't really see this as well, but Codsworth's Closet and Cafe. So this is a joint uh, clothing store and also a cafe where Codsworth works. Oh, we have this little seating area for people who come to the cafe. This is the cafe counter. Codsworth really only knows how to make coffee, but he does a really good job of it. Uh, and then here, clothing store as well. Uh, anything pre-war you can find here. Codsworth loves providing people with the finest clothing from a uh, more refined time. Uh, we have a little bathroom here, a storage area. For Codsworth, of course, he has some extra handy fuel, uh, some extra mannequins, suitcases. You know, whenever traders come in, they usually bring clothes in a suitcase if they found any that he purchases for his back room stock. Uh, this is the sort of changing room, sort of shopping room for patrons who are looking for a new look. There's a hamper, there's some dressers, vases, uh, more mannequins to display the wares, of course, but here is where they would try on clothes. Maybe they have a friend waiting with them, uh, giving some advice, you know, saying yes to the dress, that sort of thing. And then this is a restricted area. This is Codsworth's personal house. So Codsworth has a baseball poster, an old uh, red rocket poster uh, and just some things that feel very Codsworth you know he has an appreciation for the finer times the gentler times some pre-war money a little so silver locket um, yeah Codsworth's personal room and then what have we got next? We already toured the general store. So next up we have Sturge's house, which is also the repair shop for all of Sanctuary. Um, so he's got, of course, a power armor station, a scavenging station, a uh, weapons workbench, the actual workbench for all of Sanctuary, but he doesn't know that because that's for us as the general. Uh, here is his counter where he, you know, works works because uh, he's technically assigned to the scavenging station, but this is his repair shop. So 
people would come in and they would wait at the shop. They would bring him some items to repair. Uh, they might wait here for him, but he is uh, always available to help people fix things. Uh, here's a typewriter that he recently repaired and is going to take down to the general store, but hasn't had the chance yet. Uh, is this armor workbench? Yes, armor workbench inside, a little vacuum tube, wrench, a silver locket that he was able to repair the hinge on for somebody. And then this is his uh, small little kitchenette. Uh, so he, instead of having a dining room out here, which would be typical for this sort of setup, has this little uh, setup inside the kitchenette. Uh, Sturges is a very practical man. So if there's floor space to be used for a workbench, he's using it. Uh, back here, we have a bathroom. And of course, like I just said, if there's floor space that can be used for something to do with repairs, you know he's using it. So there's a little cabinet in there. Uh, and then this is his private bedroom. So he's got a little desk to work on his business expenses, documentation, planning, that sort of thing. Um, and then a television that he is actively trying to repair, though it's not in very good state, thus never stopped Sturges before. Um, coming out here, we already did Clodsworth's. We will avoid this for now. I'm so sorry about that. Very, very unprofessional of us here at the Minuteman. Um, here we have what is colloquial known as the ammo house, um, but more officially, this is the warehouse of the Minutemen. This is our manufacturing base. Um, so it includes some things like the junk trunk uh, that I personally use, some armor and weapons repair, and also this ammunition plant. So this is where we produce all of the ammo uh, to give or provide to our soldiers all around the Commonwealth. It gets packed into these crates and then shipped all around. Uh, we can, of course, close that door uh, since we're not actively producing anything in this moment. Uh, but that is the ammunition plant slash warehouse. Up next, we have the weapons house. So this is, uh, we have a weapons store. Uh, we've got some shelving. We've got some weapons for display. Uh, we've got a small bathroom with a nicely newly repaired wall. Uh, this is a small kitchenette. So, you know, typically pre-sanctuary, the kitchen would have been out here, but this house has been refurbished, so the kitchenette is much smaller, uh, so we can have more space for displaying and selling ammo. Um, I'd like to think of the... Uh, weapons dealer that we have in sanctuary a bit of a doomsday prepper uh so we've got some war machine anti-communist uh vibes here uh some homemade candles going on a little bed area uh and then this is the private office of the weapons dealer uh, of course for doing accounting um but also weapons repair before it's sold uh, and is there yes a little safe here for the more valuable weapons as well um, this is our, uh, weapon statue and out here we just have a small little, you know, boys clubby sort of area, um, a TV from the general shop that has been repaired. Um, there's no broadcast going on, but the idea is that if there's a second apocalypse, our weapons guys would see it coming. Okay. Um, yes. So next up we have the hotel, uh, the hotel. Uh, isn't run by anybody yet, but we are recruiting. Uh, it serves coffee, a small continental breakfast with a little seating area. And then we have four rooms. Room one, which is I think our biggest. Uh, room two, which is our smallest. And of course, cheapest. So if you're looking for a good deal for one night, room two is, is always available. Not always, but would be available for you. Room three and room four, which is a nice uh, two bed setup. And of course, some fine motel art for anybody passing through who wants to enjoy in, who wants to enjoy this part of the Commonwealth. Um, and then what do we have next? Next, we have the diner slash public park. So this is 12, the food house. This is our diner. We have a lot of dining tables lined up, which is perfect because we have a lot of residents here in Sanctuary. Um, this is our current bartender. I am going to have to dress her up in different clothes because I don't love this outfit, but that's fine for now. Um, of course, there are hot dogs and Nuka-Cola floats and waffles, anything you could possibly want. And if we come here to the back, uh, this is the public park area that you can also get through uh, just by this little walkway. But we have some picnic tables. We have a basketball court. Uh, we have some workout equipment and a dumpster and a grill. Just a lovely place for the community. You know, you buy a hot dog, you come out here with your friends. Just a really lovely place for people to connect. Uh, right next door, we have 12... The town hall, or 13, excuse me, 
13, the town hall. So we have the Minutemen flag. Uh, we have some pews. The town hall is a very multi-use space. Uh, so it's, it's often used for government for, you know, delivering, uh, new laws or decisions to the people, people coming here to vote on issues. Um, uh, but of course the table can also be moved out of the way and it can be used for town ceremonies, other mayors coming through. Um, the chairs can be rearranged. People need to debate at each other. Uh, it's a very, it's a multi-use space reminiscent of old new England congregational churches. So a very useful space. And of course, this is a nod to that, to that old New England feel. Um, up here, this is for if it's ever too crowded downstairs and all the pews are full, we're talking standing room only. This is a great place for people to come and also listen to what's going on. And because uh, we've thought through, you know, if somebody is passing through and doesn't have the money to rent a room at the hotel, um, the old congregational church would provide at least a safe space for them to lie down for a night. Excuse me, Preston, my associate Preston, ladies and gentlemen. Um, over here, we have house 14, the armor house. So this is uh, where armor is for sale. We've got some mannequins displaying the latest fashion. A can that isn't supposed to be there. I hear Codsworth. We have a small bathroom with a lovely little plant, as well as a small bedroom for them. Um, and then a little desk area with this lovely mid-century uh, bomb art, uh, but another chair so they can work together with another business owner if they need to. That is the armor house, which brings us back to the back of the warehouse. So those are all the buildings. Um, but of course, outdoors, we have a small farm that the longs manage for us. So we've got a bunch of food for everybody here, which is awesome. Uh, and then down here past the old playground, we have our amphitheater. So that's a number of benches. Uh, and then this small stage, which can be like the town hall, both a political space, but also an entertainment space. So if it's really nice weather and the mayor wants to address something outside that can happen. Um, but also it can be a stage because bread and circuses is how you keep a settlement happy. I think that's about it for us today. We are leaving sanctuary Hills. Finally, after three parts with nine people, 12 food, 43 water, 24 power, 54 defense, 20 beds, and 83 happiness, which hopefully continues to rise. I know we took a bit of a dip because we had that attack of wild mongrels uh, after one of them got stuck in a cage. Um, don't worry about that. It'll, it'll be fine for sure. Thank you so much for joining me, the General of the Minutemen, as we work together to make the Commonwealth safer one settlement at a time. And with that, we can finally cross Sanctuary off our list. We did it. It took three parts, but we made it there. I have a playlist of all of the builds that I have done so far. Please check it out. If you're enjoying this series, let me know. Y'all have been so supportive and given me so many ideas. I think that we're just going to continue to work through all of the settlements that we can build in this game. Um, and then people have given me some great ideas for things we could do next. Next, I have seen the sanctuary challenge where you just never leave sanctuary sanctuary that I would love to do at some point. Um, and then some other games that people have suggested that I would love to check out. I also have some videos of my other games that I've made. If you feel so inclined to check those out, um, regardless of whether you check out another game or you're only interested in follow up content, please know that I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me here today. And I hope that you have a lovely day. See you next week. Looks like Sturges is on the roof. Yeah, Sturges is on the roof. That feels about right.